Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we are doing something different than Clash Replays. I might do this for, for a little bit. We are doing Blood Moon player profiles. So we are going to pick a Blood Moon member, uh, preferably one that sent us replays so we can actually look at all their stuff. And we're going to go over who they are and also show off some of the stuff that they can do. Um, so this is primarily going to be for Blood Moon members because hopefully I can give them a gift uh, that they can hold on to for the rest of their life or as long as YouTube is open. So even years from now, if they ever want to look back at, at the game, they, they can come and uh, look back. There might be a couple of exceptions for other very close friends, but today we have the one, the only, the Valkyrie of Justice awesome name let me know if you like that in the comment section below uh adina so adina is uh she's like an old friend it, it seems like but she's recently new to to blood moon participating in clash of fade championship so as we can tell for right now she is 7.2 million core power she is a whale uh a just straight up mega whale in my opinion Castle level 47, uh, so if you're watching this in the future, currently I'm 46, so she's definitely ahead of the curb. Plenty of research into her snipers. Over 3 million honor, which is fantastic. She has whatever gears she wants. And her dual tower ranking right now is uh, 4,000. This is the very beginning of the season. She is top 100 in the world uh, for sure. No doubt in my mind about that. So let's jump in and let's see some of Dina's wonderful replays. So we will start off with uh, the one Clash of Fate replay because um, I think this is probably the... Uh, I, I don't know, it, it, it just is. We're going to jump into dual tower replays afterwards. But she's going up against uh, the guy that came in. Uh, I think he finished third place in Karma. Um, for Adina, she has an Azul Dragon. It has Fatal Blows, Frigid Skills, Energy Pulse, Cosmic Storms, Magic Swell, Noble Blood, Arcane Blessing, and Hero Pred. Uh, the Dragonics are completely maxed out. Um, again, super, super strong. Uh, and it looks like she went up against uh, this other Dwarf player in Flawless Sim. Uh, let's assume that they have a perfect Onyx Dragon or somewhat close to that. Adina also won in all sets. So we'll just watch this one uh, normal speed and then we'll jump into some uh, high-end dual tower uh, PvP replays. And it looks like Ad Adina is just able to absolutely uh, crush it on this uh, top portion. Even going up against the snipers, uh, her heroes live and they, they didn't actually die, which is just insanely impressive uh, no matter how you cut it. So this was Adina during Clash of Fate. It's super crazy and impressive to watch. Now let's jump in and see some of the dual tower replays. All right, so for this first PvP replay is two of my favorite people. It is KDG versus Adina. Um, KDG is going with her uh, Azul Dragon, which has Noble Blood, Scales, uh, Frost Nova, Primal Will, uh, three damage abilities, and Hero Pred. Um, super high Dragonic as well. And it looks like um, it looks like KDG was able to take out a, a bunch of heroes. Now, for comparison, KDG can pretty much flawless me. Uh, so this is that's like the level of play for KDG. She will flawless me uh, or come very close to flawlessing me. And she's going up against Adina. So let's go jump in and see how how this one went. So it looks like it, it is power side versus power side. Uh, right away, um, there is. A Rufi Rufio leap from KDG to get in nice and deep. Adina started off with with the Denji, who who got like really deep into uh, KDG's uh, formation. Uh, Adina was able to take down uh, KDG's Azul Dragon relatively quickly. I, I think th where the placement was for the Dragon is just set up for the uh, the snipers to just take them down. Now Adina is uh, doing the Raxius procs, and at this point in time, uh, the top side, the power side for KDG, is completely gone. Uh, remember, KDG can pretty much straight up flawless me, and she's going up against Adina. KD does the dab. Oh my gosh, it is so good. These two are some of my favorite people. They're both absolutely amazing players. Next, we have Toby going up against Adina. So uh, Toby, Toby has um, a, a a perfect uh, uh, Azul Dragon. Um, I love his dragon, really high dragonics as well. Um, as far as the assassin and everything else, it looks like Toby won in stamina and command, and Adina got magic and might. So, again, Toby, insanely strong, will flawless me. Like, without a doubt, insane, 
he is I, I'm I'm I think I'm his number one fan. I love Toby. I absolutely love Toby. But to give you guys a, a, an example of like the raw power of of Adina, um, here is uh, Toby going up against Adina. And it looks like it's power side versus power side again. Uh, instant proc for the protection from uh, Adina's Azul Dragon. Uh, Toby's uh, then, then does his proc. Uh, we have the Denji spinning going up against Adina, Adina's Dragon from, from Toby. Uh, you can see Cosmic Storms coming down. Uh, I think that was Adina's uh, Jax that just did the Spray and Pray. Toby leaped in with, with the Rufio. His Onyx uh, or Azul is down and Toby's able to press fours uh, pretty heavily in that top area. However, Adina's Dragon is alive and pretty healthy. Uh, now Adina's dragon is moving up. This is very bad for Toby to get the dragon that close to all of his snipers. It's starting to do the progs. Toby tags the Azul dragon and um, I don't know if he has enough snipers left to take it down in time. Uh, his top portion just got cleared out by, by Adina. Toby gives it a thumbs up because he's a stand up guy and, and, and a great player. Um, Really, really good fight to both uh, Adina and Toby. Um, all of my favorite people fighting each other. Stop fighting each other. But uh, yeah, great job, Toby. I'm still your number one fan. Adina, you are unreal. And now we have Adina going up against a Lich player. So this Lich player is 7.6 million core power. Adina is 7.2 million core power. So if you guys want an idea on how strong this type of stuff is, this is 1.1 million damage Warlocks. Uh, the Stalkers have almost a million HP. This looks like a headache to go up against. Now the, the Lich player is going with a Onyx Dragon. It has the three holes, the scales, uh, Swell, Cosmic Storm, Energy Pulse, Arcane Blessing, External Void, and also the Hero Pred. And Dragonics, of course, are 159 because we're looking at some really high-end stuff. As far as the Sass, it looks like uh, pretty much stamina is a wash. Uh, Katie half won the uh, might, fully won magic, which is interesting going up against a Lich player, and the Lich player uh, totally won the command. Adina had 133 million damage from her Nora, uh, so if you guys are curious at how good a true ruby is, that. That is, that is a true ruby, and that is so much damage. So let's jump in. Uh, Adina, 7.2 million core. Um, Lich player, 7.6 million core power. So let's jump in. Let, let's see how this one goes. Almost like 1 million uh, health stalker. So Adina starts off right away with um, Heraxius. It looks like she's going out with uh, the stuns from the, the Heraxius uh, because she's doing it re relatively slowly. Her uh, Azul Dragon is targeted by the enemy Warlocks, which remember those are 1.1 million damage Warlocks. Insanity. Uh, the Lich player jumps in with, with their Rufio. This is, this is just insane. Um, so on, on the other side, the Onyx Dragon is starting to get low. Adina's Dragon is still up. Adina pulls out an Earthquake trying to slow down as many of the Warlocks as possible. Uh, puts down another Snake. Uh, trying to take out all of those backline heroes. The Onyx Dragon drops the snipers. Um, Adina is able to break through in the top side. The bottom side is stalling out. The Azul Dragon of Adina's has finally dropped, but Adina is starting to slowly wrap around. She's uh, in hitting the backline uh, Warlocks. Her Bazrix is still up. She's able to drop a Bat Splits on top of the enemy uh, Warlocks in the back. They are just crumbling, turning into bones and... Uh, whatever else skeletons turn into. I, I'm assuming just bones. Anyways, Adina did a fantastic job. 7.6 million core power Lich player. This is insanity next level. Way out of my league across the board play. Uh, so to uh, the egg, 0, zero Really good job, man. You did a fantastic job. I'm sure this guy would flawless, would flawless me easily. And Adina, amazing job. And next, we have another egg going up against Adina. This is the king egg. So this is an 8.7 million core power player going up against Adina, who is a 7.2 million core power player. I think they have her beat, uh, if my math doesn't fail me, by 1.5 million core power. So... This is insanity. If we look at, look at like the the attack is so, uh, what is that? One point three million attack snipers, five million uh, health uh, 
Max, this is insanity. They're going with a PvP dragon. Uh, this is a scales. They have eternal voice, cosmic storm, energy pulse, uh, three hole punch. They have the arcane blessing, magic swell, uh, hero prend. Of course, the 159 in all dragonix. This is some crazy, crazy stuff. When we look at the sets, we can see that the uh, en enemy player, the 8.7 million person, they won in both uh, Might and Magic. Adina won both in Stamina and Command. Uh, again, for people that are confused about the True Ruby, we have another uh, Nora that's above uh, 100 million damage. Ridiculous stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten this from this channel that the True Ruby might be overpowered. So let's, let's jump on in and see how this fight goes. So it looks like Adina has her uh, power side on the top side. She opens up with, with the Raxius. On the bottom side, uh, the green player is opening up uh, as, as well. Um, they're trying to get as much damage out there as possible. I think that's their Denji that they started off with with, with the spin. Let's see what Adina does uh, for her, her next uh, major move in, in the battle. Unless I missed it, it was on this bottom portion. Adina is slowly taking out the, the max in, in the top portion, and on the bottom portion, uh, the green player is also taking out a, a bunch of max. Uh, so Adina drops the last thing from, from Raxius. I think she did the, nope, that is not the spray and pray from, from Jax. Um, we have snakes coming out from uh, Ophidius on both sides. Adina's stall side in, in the bottom is holding on pr pretty well. Uh, the snipers down there just took a ton of damage, but Adina collapsed the top side. There's one little pack of uh, mechs left. Uh, they have a sliver of health, uh, and Adina's going to be finishing that off. External voids coming out from the Onyx Dragon of the green player, slowing down everything. The ba Bazrix Basplist is going to be able to just finish off stuff, so hopefully Adina can swing around. Uh, and same thing with, with the green player, they're now dropping their, their bad splits, trying to take out as many of the snipers and high damage dealing stuff from, from Dina. Uh, because it, if they can take out all of that stuff, then they, they can win the fight. The Badrix of the green player is still alive. I, I don't know if they have done the second cast yet. I, I might have missed that. Uh, it, I'm assuming that they have because there hasn't been another bad splits. The Azul Dragon is literally just tanking up everything. Uh, the Sun Flare uh, proc, uh, the active ability, was used for uh, a bunch of extra damage. And Adina is able to move forwards. Her dragon tanking all, uh, all along the way. And she is able to defeat the green 8.7 mil core power uh, egg. Amazing stuff. Both of these players, absolutely amazing. But since we are focusing on, on Adina today, Adina did an amazing job. So this is uh, Blood Moon's uh, player spotlight uh, and profiling of uh, Adina. Uh, she is amazing. She is a great teammate, a great person, uh, super friendly, um, and absolutely amazing at this game. So I'm very happy that we get to play with Adina uh, in Blood Moon. We've talked to her for forever. She's a fantastic person. But if you want to see more of uh, Adina and or Blood Moon and or just uh, Art of Conquest type of stuff, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button for Adina. Um, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And go check out the information in the description below. You can find the merch store. You, you can get the uh, Patreon page. Thank you to all the Patreons out there. Uh, you can also find our Discord and all that other beautiful stuff. So until tomorrow, have a wonderful day, guys.